in journey so uh, we were talking about even this concept that uh, like you just mentioned that uh, to surpass that mental barrier that you can do something uh, i always associate when you are going to marathon and anything above that the ultra marathon and all the person has to be mentally tough and, and i've seen that people who are running full marathon and ultra marathon they are equally mentally tough in other parts of their life also not just into running uh, i have met people who who are running full marathon and all and they carry the same amount of you know mental fortitude in their life other aspects right so the mind over body concept you know applies uh, really strongly in the you know running did you see it similar way uh, well there is lot of research being done uh, to understand the uh, the mind uh the mental strength is uh, let's say the mental strength of uh, uh a person if he is a marathon runner uh, a lot of positive observations have been noticed many people who are runners uh claim that uh, they are able to deal with a lot of their life challenges uh, in a much better manner uh, and uh, so it's not that you need to be tough to run a marathon uh see the mental toughness is a factor of various various things right uh, it's about your mind's ability to understand and familiarize with certain idea you know running a marathon is very tough but you don't you don't learn how to run a marathon on the day of the marathon you learn mm-hmm. how to run a marathon during your training period and your your body becomes uh, kind of adapted to that kind of stresses your mind becomes adapted to the demands the physical and also the mental demands that are needed on the race day so you're basically developing over a period of time so you run one event to another even it's not that even to even you're developing something it is the entire journey the entire training process is going to make you tougher so that's why i said um, running an ultra marathon marathon is uh, it's it's all in the mind you're accepting that okay it's going to hurt me it's going to uh make me feel uncomfortable but i'm going to do this because there's somebody else who has done this who claimed to have achieved something really great right so that is the reinforcement if somebody else comes and says that you can do this or if you go follow these five or six steps you're going to achieve this that gives a lot of uh, confidence and um, so when you actually go run your first time you know i can even ask you this question so how was your experience when you ran your first five kilometers our first time when you went to even run any distance you would have felt really uh, really kind of beaten up right if you are not uh, if you have not done running uh, throughout your life if you are asked to run you're not going to be comfortable that's the same with any skill for that matter um, it could be riding a bike it could be uh, taking your car on a mountain but you've been driving all through your life on a on a plane uh, area um, so the i think it's uh, the mental toughness is something that you develop over a period of time and then since your mind knows that you can be that you are not applying the same concept in other areas it comes to you naturally okay so even if it could be a financial crunch uh, at your home or your job is you're not happy with uh, with the job or you had a very bad performance review with your boss and your management is very upset your business is not doing good and now if you're an ultra marathon runner you know that it is only temporary because the pain that you experience in a marathon is only for a short amount of time you either cross those barriers so let's say if you're running up hill you're looking forward to reaching the top and then going down and then it's going to be a happy moment and you can't stay happy for a long time when you're going down and of course another hill is going to come in front of you so that can be related to what we all go through in our life there is nothing like a happy moment there is nothing like a sad moment there's nothing that that's going to stop you from enjoying your rest of your life at the same time there is nothing that's going to stop you from feeling that oh my god you know i'm going to i'm going to be poor 10 years from now or i'm going to be rich 10 years from now so you can uh, i i just like to live in the present moment you know i like to enjoy this particular moment rather than thinking too far into the future but we all need direction Uh, direction is really important but uh, the milestones uh, is all it's in the mind you know whether you're going to celebrate achieving earning uh, i remember after i quit my job in the in the first month 
my entire yearning for the first month was about 6000 rupees um and you know somebody was earning in few lakhs and suddenly you see that your monthly earning dropping to 6000 rupees uh, that kind of uh, gives a jolt uh, but for me uh, it was a happy moment because i started from zero and i was very happy that i got 6000 rupees you know i think that the mind is something that is constantly developing the mental toughness is something that you're constantly developing and it is not going to come only by running marathon it can come from anything that you passionately do but ready to do those little uncomfortable things ready to take those risks ready to take a lot of decisions in life rather than postponing them because if you don't take decisions uh, uh you're not going to learn from the mistakes that you're going to make or even from the success of taking that decision so this is exactly what the first thing that i learned when i started reading books at the age of um i was probably 19 years yeah so the tony robbins and uh, wake and the giant but then that's the first book i remember reading in my life anything other than the subject books and uh, the art of making decision is something that i learned from that book and it's really important even today i follow that you have to keep taking decisions and that's what is going to make you a tougher person in this department yeah so it means you're saying it's other way around you are doing marathon not because you're mentally tough but you become mentally tough uh, because you're running a marathon right yes it's it contributes to everything it's kind of wheels within wheels right so where, and of course the result can be anything uh, it could be a, a, a dnf or it could be dns you don't even start because you picked up an injury in the last one week uh, to the marathon but still go there uh, still go and i i've done this uh, i picked up injuries uh, uh, before i remember uh, before my first comrades marathon it was like i was so excited that i was even able to think about running an ultra marathon which is considered to be one of the top first uh, the largest race with almost 18000 people participating in south africa and i was very confident that oh my goodness i could even come and stand in the start line uh, i don't know what's going to happen to me but when i was standing there back in 2013 uh, 2014 was the first time in peter maritzburg um i was in jude uh, i was not ready ready to start but um, I, i was not ready to finish the run and i knew that i was going to fail somewhere but i was ready to experience that okay so you know that's what the mental toughness is all about right so you go there you experience it it's very easy for me to have cancelled the trip and saved uh, you know whatever flight charges if i have associated getting the medal as a success then i would have cancelled my trip but i associated experiencing that atmosphere experiencing that moment where i don't even know what's going to happen to me but i'm going to learn from that experience uh, and also if i have not gone there i wouldn't have learned something new uh, with that kind of an injury as a coach now i can advise people i can tell people okay this is the kind of injury uh, probably this is what could happen uh, so the, everything is uh, kind of interconnected so you you develop your mental toughness by subjecting yourself to going through certain things rather than so i always say this i have this very strong belief system right you don't want to fail at the start line okay uh, you have to go plunge yourself into something that you've never done before um fail somewhere on the course but it's okay it's a different result again tony robinson says uh, failure is actually a different result right